Before we fasten the uh, tie rod on, I thought we'd fill it with grease because it's easier to get to uh, get a full nozzle right down inside there without being limited or restricted. And there we go. Get it on absolute full lock. Get that tube right down inside there. And you want a little bit of room for air to get out. There we go. Squeeze it in. Roll it down. I, you can get this in bottles or you can get it in uh, bags like this, but I like these bags. No, I was thinking the other day about this, <laughs> as you do. And the ones, when you put, uh, when you used to put EP90 in oil, well, as, as you know, that EP90, it forms when it's splashed around and stuff from gearboxes, and that's why you need breathers on axles and things like that. And I was just wondering, I thought, did that actually contribute to why to why these, uh, these swivels used to leak with EP90? Because there's no breather on them. There's nowhere for it to go. There's nowhere for the air to go. <clears throat> Whereas the grease doesn't uh, form. Good theory, isn't it? I never thought of that. <clears throat> Look, that's that. Ooh, feels nice. Now, brake caliper. Uh, where's that into here? Oh. These brakes are still pretty good. Ooh, let's get that grease off there first. Getting cleaned up a bit. Nothing. People think that grease, you know, burns off the uh, the disc, but it doesn't really. It contaminates your pads. You don't want that. Let's put a bit of thread lock on these bolts. We'll see if we can get them back in without trying too hard. Right. This is a bit tricky. Because I'm looking into the blinding light. Now, here's the other one. So what I'll do is I'll top these down, and then we'll fasten up the brake pipe, tie it end on, and that is our job done. Right, uh, right, where is my torque wrench? Right, we've got 82 newton meters for the caliper. Like that. Like that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. We didn't lose one drop of uh, brake fluid out of here. Put the nut back on. What's them? It's them seven things, aren't they? It's awkward when they're not just finger tight, you know. Yeah, we'll get another 17. Have we got one? Probably not. Here we are. Ooh. 
Just need a little bit of a light nip up. Put the brake pipe back on. And that should be half inch. Or 13 mil, whichever one you want. Now you've got to hold it, not by the lock nut, but by the back nut. Again, you don't want to nip it so tight it strips it off. Take your clamp off. Find yourself a little uh, quarter, quarter nut, uh, quarter, seven sixteenth uh, spanner. It says raking round, sound to be enthusiastic. We've got an 11 mil here. Yeah, what's this here? You'll see the bubbles come out of the pipe once it stopped bubbling. Pick it up. You see the brake caliper. If you if you've not got an opening, it won't leak. So if you take the pipe off, it won't leak. If you see what I mean, there'll be a little bit of air in here. And because we nipped it here at the pipe, oil, uh, brake fluid can't get down here. So as soon as you connect it up, you only have a few little bubbles and that's it. It's really, really easy. I'm, there's no point bleeding things through. Right, uh, tie rod end. <coughs> Now, split pins, where will they be? I always like to put new split pins in. Now the next thing we've got to do, we must remember, fill the diff up with oil. Now at the other side also I've got the bung out of the, the hub. Uh, I'm just going to check it. I think I have some partially um, empty uh, swivel greases. Now, why didn't I do the other side at the same time as this one? Well, uh, when I checked the oil, it didn't didn't seem to be down at all. And of course, I've only got I haven't got enough grease left. It's all gone. So I'm really really low on uh, parts, and I haven't got a seal or a kit for this side for the you know for the the hub. So I'm going to leave it until I get the parts. But there's no point in showing you both sides because you you've seen it. Um, job I'm going to do this afternoon is weld up the mud flap on the other side. That's started to come loose. Better get it done now. And then that's it. That's it. Not much to it really. We'll get down here and tighten this, uh, this nut up on the tie rod end. You don't have to do it like to a torque. You just do it so you can get a new split pin through it, if you see what I mean. Talking of which, where are my split pins? Right, that's that done. When you're putting split pins through castellated nuts, when you think it's tight but the hole doesn't line up, don't turn it backward. Turn it till the next flat. That's why there's no specific torque for it. What's this doing here? I don't know. My floor's gone flat. Right, so I'm going to top up the grease. Um, top up the grease, top up the oil, and that will put paid to that. I'm glad I caught it in time. I didn't run, want to run that hub dry, but uh, that's a thing to check when you're checking your oil. Is it all like grey grease? Because the oil, the grease has come from this hub and gone that away into the oil. Is it detrimental for the oil? I don't know. But it's not good for the hub because it can't get back in again. See you later. Mm -hmm.